everyone. Thanks for watching. Uh, today is the first day where we talk about Gmail and covering your um, profile for Google+. Now this is the first video where I'm just going to get into the, the screen right away. Um, I won't have my face there too much because <clears throat> I'm not feeling so well. So I'll let you just focus on the guidance, on the, on the program. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you log into your Gmail account that you created earlier. And once you're logged in, which you can verify by seeing your email address at the top right. Now this is a sample account that I'm working on. It's not my Google Plus. If you want to add me there, just find my Google Plus links at Oscar Stick. So um, what I'm going to do once I'm logged in and I'm able to see my email, I just want to go to google.com forward slash plus. And since you haven't created a Google Plus account yet, or if you did, you won't see this, but we're going to just hit enter. And I made a mistake here, so let's try that again. So, google.com plus, and then you're going to see the screen asking if you want to join and to create your account. So, the very first thing you do is you just configure the basic information on your profile. So that's Oscar, then my name, Gonzalez. Of course, mail. You can add a photo, or you can take a new photo. In this case, I'm going to add a photo from my computer. So, from my photos, um, let's upload a photo right here. So, you can upload a photo. You can use your photos that I already have on Picasso or somewhere else, or photos that other people have added to Google Plus, or you can just take a photo directly with your webcam, like the one that you're using to see me right here. So, I'm going to select one from my computer, and I know where it is. So. I won't have to spend too much time finding it. Once you upload it, then you can set it as your profile photo. And set it like that. Okay, and then you continue and you upgrade it. You need to agree, of course, to any of the settings that or any of the terms of service that they present with you. They present to you. In this case, if you were using Yahoo, you can actually find anybody that's in your contact address list from Yahoo or Hotmail and add them to Google+. Plus. For the sake of expediency, we're going to skip this step for now. And then I can add other people in circles. Now, I'm not, I'm not going to add people in circles with this account yet. That will be in another episode because I want to show you how I add people on my own account, given that this is just a sample account to show you um, how to actually get onto Google+. Plus. So we're going to skip this step as well and just say continue. And Google will present some uh, people that maybe you want to follow, either they're uh, big celebrities or big accounts for some reason, or for example, the interesting ones. So you can spend some time looking at those if you want. Maybe let's add Richard, Richard Branson into one of our accounts. This is how you add people to a circle. Click on the button right here. You can read this information. It's giving you an introduction to Google Circles. Then we say OK. And we just added it to a fun and interesting circle. So let's continue. Now here's where you put information about your school, your year when you graduated, where do you work, your title, where do you where do you live, and continue on with the profile creation. After that, you will be presented with your stream of information. And this is people that are public on Google Plus and this is a basic interface to Google+. In an upcoming episode, we will cover more information about how to do a Hangout, how to invite more friends, how to work with your own circles, or how to create new circles up here. So thanks for watching. This was another episode of the Social Media Workshop from 30 to Social, uh, 30 days to social.com. So if you have any questions, questions at oscarstech.com. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.